Welcome to Real Flicks Reviews Movie News. This week we have Jonathan Charney, James Stevens, and Ryan Preston. Hello. So this week's question sounds a little bit obscure, but you'll find out after the break. It's, are we outs- outside of the Beltway? And you'll find out what I mean after that in a bit. Um, so apparently this summer has what they've dubbed the Summer from Hell. Because most of the movies that have come out this season have completely bombed. What do you guys think? Yeah, not a uh, not a not an amazing time for for the for the summer blockbuster, I guess this season. Um, you know, well, Wonder Woman, you know, definitely killed it. But uh, I wonder aside Woman from that, I'm trying to think of Guardians of the Galaxy two. What's been out lately? Yeah, Guardians two. I came out in the summer. Um, the Mummy Pirates. What's yeah? The Mummy was just just awful. Um, yeah, I'll think of what else did the new Pirates of the Caribbean movie. That one actually did not too bad, if I remember right, from what they said. No, yeah, I mean, yeah, those. But there just there wasn't anything that I because usually every summer there's at least half a dozen movies and like I want to see and you know and yeah. this there was maybe one like Guardians of the Galaxy I think was the only one I wanted to see the Mummy I was apprehensive about but excited turned out I was wrong and that's yeah. really it there's, I know the Dark Tower is not. Dark oh. Tower is not getting great reviews. Oh, I forgot that movie um, came out. I, I, can't Im- I can't imagine that Annabelle creation is any good. The Conjuring would be sucked ass. Uh, Girls Trip is doing great. Spider Man is doing great. Atomic Blonde is doing great. I thought Spider Man uh, was the lowest, uh, like lo- one of the the lowest something Spider Man. I ran across an article a while ago that said it wasn't doing the new one wasn't doing that good. Yeah, I mean, I think the really. Little- uh, Willem Dafoe didn't do very well. It was and, kind of a shitty film. Well, it did because movie. it was a spectacle. It was like Spider-Man. the first, it was yeah. one of the first comic book movies anybody did. That's true. Well, excluding the, the one made in the 80s with Leah Thompson with a name that shall be not named, may be mentioned. And Flash. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's right. Now, Flash was, it was an old comic. The problem with Flash is it was a little bit obscure. Well, for the... Not having a strong fan base that was supporting you, yeah. It was the only scary. reason I love that movie is because the soundtrack is bitching. That's the oh, only I mean, reason I've ever watched you the don't Flash like all movie. the phallic symbols. I try not to pay that much attention to it because I'm usually just enjoying the amazing soundtrack. <laughs> so yeah, no, they they're they're definitely doing good with uh, Homecoming. Their budget was 175. Uh, they've already grossed uh, 307. That worldwide or domestic? Uh, that's USA. Wow. 307 million domestic, hey, yeah. Good for them. I'm, I'm still hoping for a better... A damn good movie. I still hope that uh, Marvel will get the rights back to Venom and Carnage so we can actually have Spider-Man versus those two. Because the new kid, I've I heard, just does really good, so I think it'd be fun. Um, oh, so, I like it a lot, yeah. It's like a, if John Hughes did a Spider-Man movie. So excuse me, because I'm going to completely butcher this name. Ryan Johnson and Mark Hamill urge fans to avoid Star Wars 8 marketing. Finally, somebody's telling Ryan to do what he does all the time. <laughs> I, you know, this is going to, maybe it's. Yeah, be- I definitely didn't, I definitely don't have to be prompted for that kind of thing. Maybe it's because of my age, but I'm just not excited about Star Wars. I mean, I'm so jaded at this point. There's no movies that really make me go, I can't wait to see. I think the last one was that was The Hobbit, and you kind of had to, you know, I kind of put the techno color rainbow in my mouth. Well, I got to give some credit to South Park. Um, when Disney was releasing the uh, most recent Star Wars, they came up with something called Member Berries. Oh, yes, in, uh, I heard about this. <laughs> yeah. In South Park. And that's basically what that whole film was and i'm talking about uh the most recent one where the free was um eight uh, seven um yeah, it was it was a study in nostalgia yeah yeah that's really what it was and it's like oh do you remember when the ship went up and around and down and through the thing i remember and then um with uh han and and, and chewy it was all oh i remember and there it was just all over the place and so a lot of films were like that and i'm hoping it if they move away from that, 
of basically trying to get everyone to feel nostalgic about their first time they saw Star Wars and how they felt and all that. I think you get off that right. bullshit and create some new shit. Okay? I, 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 That's all I'm saying. I wonder if they're going to make well, people you know, remember the first time they bought Star Wars because I've bought at least three copies of that. Damn I mean, if thing they get rid the of the stupid uh, it's, I, I think, Backstreet I think Boy we, Boy out of them, I'll we, buy well, We've gotten a. <laughs> um, we've gotten a little bit spoiled with uh, the, the the way we've sort of been consuming our our fantasy <laughs> things lately. You know, all like Game yeah. of Thrones or. You know, something like that. It's sort of sort of weekly, or it's like a year before we had, get to see the next season. When you get something like Star Wars, and it means so much to people, you know, from one week to the next, if there's one crappy episode, I'm kind of forgetting about it by the time the next week's episode comes out. Sure. When you have this hour and a half movie that comes out like every three or four years, the stakes are much much higher. So if if it's if it's not great. Then you you're you're left with that bad taste in your mouth, you know, and and potentially kind of ruins the franchise in your head. I, Whoa, so dude, what are you the, doing the in the movie theaters? Is much harder to tell. I think I think the I think the worst part about it, I totally agree with you, Ryan. But the other thing is the fact it's Star Wars. You've got three or four generations of people who have grew up watching it. You have all you have so much hype. Star Wars has more hype behind it than any movie series in history. I mean, look at Jar Jar Binks. Yeah, oh, yeah. I, I know oh, more God. people that hate one, two, and three because of Jar Jar Binks than anybody else, than any other character in any other movie series. So that's the problem. When you you do realize that hey, you know Star Wars is going to have some bad, crappy moments, but yeah, I think that's the problem. And I don't it's going to be three years before it, before it's redeemed. So I can't necessarily blame them for sort of going like like James said, the member berries route. <laughs> Hell, um, I, I would even I'd even say aliens, which in my opinion, one, two, or three, one and two specifically, three okay, being one of the greatest trilogies of all time, did not nearly have as much hype in the other movies as Star Wars has. Yeah, and and I I will say just for the record that that the the original I think it's the original Latin for nostalgia was considered an affliction. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It literally was considered like the disease of nostalgia, like this this soft heartedness towards towards things of the past. Yeah, I, I remember when he was a baby. Now I'm whooping his butt. I, you know, I, <laughs> I, I totally agree. Um, unfortunately, it's going to get even worse when people, you know, our generation or James is my generation, get older, and it's just going to start getting worse. Is Hey, we're going to do a He-Man make, a, a, a well, reboot. We're going to be doing we, a this. and We've already started to eat our own tail, seriously, to the point where we're going to have such a tight loop of we're just going to literally remake a movie that was made last year. Like, that's where I almost see this, this like, natural conclusion. Like, it's, it's going to be the space ball scene the where... Hulk? At least, hopefully, it's going to give them an opportunity yeah, every, uh, every year to do it better. <laughs> But it's it's going to be like the space ball scene the where ball. they fast forward to now, and we're watching now, now. Yeah, but I really we can't hope. Go back to then because it just happened just then. Yeah, yeah. I I don't know. I really don't have any hope for movies. I mean, I I think, granted, the the problem with being kind of a movie buff is you and I, James. Uh, myself and Ryan have like almost a hundred years worth of films to choose from. And we have the best of every generation. Cause really that's what survived. Yeah. Um, so the problem is we don't really see the, all that, the, the chaff in like the fifties and sixties, we always see that there's the stuff that, you know, rose to the top. And so maybe, yeah. you know, like, I don't, a, know. I don't mind some driller killer. <laughs> so I, I, it'll be interesting to see what happens, but there's just, to me, I'd rather watch 12 Angry Men than, well, almost all of the Star Wars movies except the original three. That's because yeah. you're a psychopath. 12 Angry Men. What a fucking weird movie to say against Star Wars. I mean, you do Buffalo 66. I mean, that's just going to get a real <laughs> hard on for Vincent Gallo. <laughs> <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, we do have a Facebook page. Go to facebook.com slash Reviews. You can also catch us on iTunes, Podbean, Stitcher, and more. So, 
my question was, are we outside of the Beltway? So I was gone last week for training, and there were two people from the Midwest, and I was the con- having the conversation how I hope my son doesn't inherit my dark sense of humor. Like, I found some of the torture scene in the Saw movies hilarious. They were. And all they of are. a sudden, I became a California pariah, and nobody would talk to me for the rest of the day. <laughs> and this is one that I kind of thought of the next couple of days. Are we, and we, I mean kind of the, the, the royal we as movie fans and movie buffs, are we so jaded by the amount of crap we actually watch that nothing phases us? Like, Parts of Saw was fucking hilarious. I watched Inglorious Bastards with James, and he and I were the only people in the theaters laughing the entire two hours of that movie nonstop. It's a freaking great movie. <laughs> yeah, well, Inglorious Bastards was a, was a bloody hilarious movie. <laughs> Um, but kind of, but, but no, I, I, I don't, I don't think so. I think if anything, it's, it's, I don't know, given, at least me, given more of a, an appreciation for, and look, I'm not to say that I'm some fucking, you know, all out, all in, you know, movie buff who knows everything in the world about movies. I've seen a few thousand movies, you know, so I, 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 I feel like I can speak with some kind of, you know, pompous attitude about it. Uh, but Sure. I, no, I, I, I come to to appreciate it more. I laugh more at the things because I respect it more as an art form. You know, the, the, the people in those horror movies are not actually dying. They're probably having a great time filming it. Yeah. You know, it's more of the, the celebration that nobody died in order to get this type of entertainment. Than, than saying like, oh, we're just glorifying people dying. Now, do you think this is a, because, you know, everybody here is from California? Do you think that could be, you know, difference between, say, California and a Midwest sensibility? Because it really struck me, like, literally everybody gave, I became a pariah because of saying, you know, like, torture scenes in movies are generally hilarious. Like, there's that scene in the second um, Hannibal Lecter movie where he's, you know, he's serving the dude his the guy his brains yeah, that, that was scene animal. was kind of funny i was laughing i just told a friend yeah. about that one so you know that's what i it was kind it, of it was funny just because ray liotta's reactions to it yeah which he's one this of my favorite good. actors Can I have some more? um so that's what it kind of made me wonder because i was saying yes and no i think you two especially uh, specifically me a little bit we're willing to give things a try that maybe most people aren't. I don't know, honestly, a whole lot of people, and I mean this out of all due respect, that have watched Super and Buffalo 66. I do think the redeeming qualities of both movies are just not really my type of movie. So I, I've said okay, this fair enough. for a few years is as somebody who's seen a lot of movies, and I'm talking a lot of movies, is you got to walk through a lot of shit to find the gold. And by that saying, I mean, I've seen a lot and a lot of <laughs> shitty-ass movies some of which most people won't even watch. I mean, horror films, um, the, some of the creepiest ones are Thai horror films. Those get really way out there. <laughs> I but think... there's funny things in it. If By you the don't way, know what I I'm think... talking about, go watch Sick Nurses and get back to me on that. I think the Asian That's a challenge. Horror, I think the Asian horror movies are scarier than any American-based movie. I mean, I, I was laughing oh, through quite oh, a bit of yeah. Ichi the Killer, and John was too. <laughs> I mean... Yeah. Uh, so we'll pick do that think, one one of these days. So, so you're welcome, so Laura. Here's the other question: is the fact that we watch movies at least once a week, if we have time, maybe more. Um, so do you think Ma and Pa Kettle who are able to watch one maybe every couple of weeks because how busy they are? Is is it that? Because I'm trying to figure out what makes us, at least according to these the, the people I was training with, twisted. I would say the well, fact that oh, hold on, I got, I got a point on this one is the most of the people that don't go and see a lot of movies or have uh, the time or the willingness to watch things outside of <laughs> the mainstream movie circles aren't gonna end up watching things like I just mentioned, like Ichi the Killer or Sick Nurses or Driller Killer, things like that, or really get Saw. into. The, yeah, I was going to say the Saws or I Spit on Your Grave films that, I mean, are kind of more of the twisted, funny humor ones. Like, I mean, or uh, the Hostels. There's quite a few parts of the Hostels Even that was were it pretty the funny. Log Cabin? No, a Cabin in the Woods, you mean? Yeah, Cabin in the Woods. Yeah, I mean, but Thank you. <laughs> that's kind of where I'm saying is like where we step outside of the box is we're willing to see those. And you're bringing up mom, pa, kettle. I mean, they're going to be like, oh, I want to watch a movie. What's out? And they look at the blockbuster films instead of going for the things that are hidden on the shelves like we used to do at, at blockbusters or the uh, mom yeah. and pop and stores. The, 
And the reason that we used to do that is because we already saw the other shit. Yeah. You yeah, know, if, we would... you're, if you're kind of current on movies, then it's like, okay, well, I've seen all the new stuff because I had nine hours to kill. Yeah, because we used you to know, go so from now A what? and Well, I guess I'm just going to start going through these movies here. Yeah. Uh, what, what's on the bottom <laughs> shelf right there? Oh, that looks like, interesting. And, you know, look, I, I used to work at Blockbuster, and I used to get five free movies a week. Yeah. You know, you, you kind of work through all in a couple of days so yeah. after that it's like well i guess i'm just gonna start working my way down a list or yeah, i'll the, read the back of the box if it looks interesting or i'll run it because that was when i i actually worked at hollywood video so technically ryan's the enemy <laughs> um i yeah, did the same i did the same thing you know when i was closing at night i'd pop in a movie yeah. i'd grab a couple of movies at night and so i i've watched a ton of movies just because the fact it was something that i did for a living for a while yeah so it just so I think that is where we get to the part of that, you know, we've been able to move past the blockbuster ones. We've watched the ones that are kind of on the fringes of, bo- of blockbuster ones, like uh, Shoot 'em Up. Shoot 'em Up would be a, one that is on the fringes of a blockbuster film. You got uh, high production value and things like that, but once you've seen and caught up on all those, then you got the ones that were kind of like either straight to DVD release or they were out at the um, the dollar theater releases where it's, you know, the lower grade, not necessarily lower grade stories in movie production, just something that wasn't promoted as much. Okay. Yeah, or, or even foreign films or, or yeah. English films where they were produced in a foreign country, you know, hardly make their way to, to the bigger shelves or Check to a lot of screens. And, yeah. you know, so a lot yeah. of it is the community also where I'm going to call James and be like, dude, have you seen this movie? You know, and it's it's this 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 awesome feedback that that we get between yeah. us all. Like, no, I haven't even heard of that shit. But, yeah, <laughs> you know, but based off a recommendation, I'll watch it. You know, but, but you know, hey, if I watch a crappy movie, I'm probably not going to call James and be like, dude, you should watch this piece of shit movie I just seen. Although we have kind of done that, like, here's a really weird piece of shit movie that's actually kind of funny. Yeah, I don't well, think it was meant to be. <laughs> I was going to say James has done that to the, me. Those movies get passed around just as much, though. Yeah, you know, like Troll. What yeah. is it? Troll Two. It's like like the, supposed to be the worst movie of all time. It gets passed around. Yeah. Like 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 the Ring movie. Like oh hey you have to watch this thing. It's gonna fucking kill you. Uh, I usually yeah. get text by James at two in the morning. Hey you gotta check this movie out. It sucks. <laughs> yeah. 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 Where did you oh, find yeah. well, this movie? When you, when you when you have that kind of sixth sense of humor, those are the phone calls that I get from James. Like dude you gotta watch this. And but but and I gotta say this one. Hold on. One of the most weird out there movies that I've ever seen actually came from Ryan. <laughs> hey, have you heard of Ichi the Killer? No, I haven't. Dude, watch that shit. And what I do, I had John watch it with me afterwards, too. <laughs> see, the problem is I liked that movie. And, and I, I liked see- that movie. Don't get me wrong. I think I bought it, too. That was a fucking crazy cool movie. <laughs> and we're going to pick it for the show, one of these um, guys out there. It's, it's like, I know, right? So it's, it's interesting. Besides the fact, and unfortunately, I think I'm a little awkward, because I get really excited about movies. Um and, and the fact that I don't understand really why people don't get excited about movies that I'm probably one out of like 20 people in the United States have seen it. Yeah. Um, okay. So, so interesting. Well, uh, yeah, we got a, a, quite a bit of a discussion there. Didn't yeah. We? See, I was so. Uh, and I want to throw this one out there. So I think this is premature. This is actually supposedly this is not confirmed, but if it is, I think it's a premature thrown in the hat. Ben Affleck, according to Casey Affleck, his brother, um, is not going to continue the Batman. So I, I think, I mean, I didn't like his Batman. We all discussed our issues with it, but I think it's a premature move by him. I see. I don't know what was worse yeah. about the last Batman. I don't know if it was him or, or if Superman. it was the script. I mean, I think it was mixed really because Ben Affleck, as much crap as we give him, he's a better actor than that. Yeah. Um, and that movie, it was kind of phoned home. So I, I can't blame him for that because I don't think anybody could have done. I don't think Jack Nicholson could have gonna done a better job in that movie. And he's an amazing actor. I'm gonna say Jack Nis- Nicholson <laughs> is the Joker. Yes, but in this movie, he'd suck at it. At being the Joker or being Batman? Pick well, I, I think it, it wasn't even necessarily the the sort of the lines or the delivery or anything. It was really just kind of the, the subject matter that got a little bit convoluted and sort of changed. 
kind of the, some of the fundamentals of, of the character a little bit. To As some, I uh, kill people you know, with guns. I mean, yeah, yeah, that kind of stuff. I mean, look, we've all seen stories where Batman gets real dark, but, you know, to to the point where he he might just be kind of breaking somebody's legs. Yeah. He uses you know, his hands, or, or not something. the firearms. We all want to see Batman torture people. Yeah, I mean, yeah, on, he, really? he, you know, the, the, the branding thing and get the, the branding. Often. Sorry. And then, and, and, and then, you know, launching. No, it's cool. There's, yeah. Other problems. The, the branding thing is, I actually, it's like, okay, that's permissible. This is the older Batman. The one who just doesn't care as much. That part to me wasn't a problem. It was those rotating, dueling Gatling guns of death that he was blowing up vehicles with. It was like, what right. comic book is that coming from? Besides the fact that wouldn't even work. I mean, but you still have the the section in um, the Dark Knight where he actually takes his his tank vehicle and starts blowing up cars in a parking lot too. I mean, they were parked and hopefully nobody left their baby in them or dog, I guess. Anyways, but um, he blew those things up. I mean, that's a large amount of property damage. I come out my cars freaking up, up through the roof. I would be pissed. And he's bitching about Superman for destroying buildings. Exactly. Um, see, uh, I know I'm kind of bummed though. I wanted to see him in the Justice League movie. On the other hand, I don't really blame him for cutting bait. I mean, a lot of people well, gave wait, him crap over it. They've already filmed the Justice League movie. He's in it. I meant the next one then. Yeah. Uh, I'm, oh I well, think I mean, it's... you know, who, who knows? Well, the I question. Don't question... think it's him throwing in the hat too soon. And I mean, I understand that there's a large fan base out there, us kind of included, that gave him a, a crap ton of shit, as John was saying. But I mean. T- I think it's just a really premature by by him. It's probably one of these things that he's going to see what the reception is, you know, because if it if it goes well, bad, mean, he's going to say, you know, I'm cutting bait. I'll jump on another Oscar. You know what? Movie. Yeah, I, maybe maybe that's what it is. Just like, oh, this really wasn't what I had in mind, or something like that. But like I mentioned before, dude, I mean, he he wasn't the problem. Yeah. With that movie, no, it was really many, wasn't. many other things collected together. Uh, he I was, agree. I don't think he wasn't. If issue. if you had a if you if you had a hundred problems with that movie, he was number ninety nine. I mean, yeah, really. I think <laughs> I think what really happened is, and this happens a lot with films, is you get a director that wants the actor to go one way, and then you get the actor wanting to play it the way that he feels it should be played, and generally the actor loses to the director. I, my other question on that is it to do with the editing too? Yeah, but I mean the director has a lot to do with the editing and well, yeah. things like that. So I mean, right, or just or just the no, we need you to play it this way. But yeah, I mean, you know, like the the certain editing things, like you don't. I don't know if he knew. I mean, I'm well, look. I'm sure he read the script. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what kind of conversations they must have had if 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 yeah. there was in fact a problem with. The style of character, yeah. You know, I think because uh, so I know is, I know that Affleck's a fan. So yeah. I, I so I was going to say, and I think part of it, I don't know if John meant it that way, but it, it kind of caught it in what he was saying is that he could be testing the waters by telling Casey, "Hey, throw this out there yeah, that yeah. I'm quitting. <clears throat> see what the what what hoopla comes out of it." And if it's good or bad, he's going to make a decision that right. I, I, I think uh, it's maybe. A, I think it's a combination between that and he'll see what the reaction is to the Justice League movie. Because um, really, as big of a star he as he is, having a couple of really box office bombs, I don't think the Batman one was. I don't think it would be good his best good for his career. The negative, the good and bad side about Batman is us. Um, I'd say we're, we're, we're the best friends and the enemies because we'll bitch nonstop, but we're also forgivable. You know, look at, we had Val Kilmer, we had George Clooney. I mean, if you look at those movies in the history of Batman movies, the ones those two were in were the worst. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you had Keaton and Bale who are the best so far. So I think we're also really forgiving, but it takes us time. So we'll, we'll see. I mean, I, I agree. I'd, I'd really hate to see him leave. Yeah, I, I think it's a strange thing yeah. that he did that he's putting it out there like that. But I mean, well, I look, I, I think I think that James might be right. It's just one of those things. Hey, let's float this, see what the reaction is. Yeah, I'm actually hoping that's what it is, and I hope that he gets enough people jumping on the thing saying, "Hey, we were willing to give you a shot." You know. So the question is, if he leaves, 
Who would you want to see play Batman? No one right now. Oh, dude, who knows? Yeah. I mean, right now, I, I don't want to see anybody play Batman right now. Because I, I have funny ones. Like, can we have Jean Reno? <laughs> Ron Perlman? Um, I think I'd go with Dwayne Johnson over Ron Perlman. <laughs> Do you smell what Batman's cooking? <laughs> would you like, would the, you like the, some of Batman strudel? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be hilarious. <laughs> so Kate Blanchett is going to star in the Lucille Ball biopic, according to what I've read. You know, I'm and it's uh, it's by Amazon too. I really got to say, I don't love Lucy. <laughs> I mean, I really don't. I mean, I think she was a fantastic. Uh, comedy actress for the time, but I mean, there was better than her, and I mean, she just got annoying. If you want to look up, I mean, she's like the Peggy Bundy of that era. If you want to look up something interesting though, on how much stroke she really had, look up when they sold Desi Lou. You'll you'll see what I mean. It's it's actually she wasn't just another pretty face. I mean, this that she was very interesting in what they did because if I remember correctly, well, yeah, her her her, her story is crazy. Yeah. Um, if it's about her background and story, I'll watch it. I mean, it, it may be something on a Sunday afternoon. Well, they said it's a biopic. It's, it's they're not remaking I Love Lucy. Yeah. Yeah. I will, I'll watch it if it's on like a, a Sunday afternoon and I have to clean the house. I yeah. mean, if it's like how they did Ray, <laughs> sure. I, I think that was a fantastic biopic is what they did with Ray. Um, I'd yeah, be well, open they brought the this. mold with that movie. Yeah. I, you know, I just... I don't know. Maybe I'm just getting jaded at this point. Well, I'm getting really jaded at my age. But I biopics and it just they just keep doing it and keep doing it. I'll watch it. Um, it no way well, well, it'll look, be good as Ray. If it's an interesting, if it's an interesting person, then it's usually an interesting movie. So it's it's you know biopics. <laughs> I, I mean, sort of live or die you, off the person's reputation. You do you know? have a lot of biopics. You got um, some of the best ones I would say out there is A Beautiful Mind. We oh, said Ray. Yes. Um, some of the ones that weren't as yeah, great. Capote, you have Imitation Walk the game. Line. You want a bad one? Watch yeah, Walk, walk the, the Line. Walk the Line kind of rubbed people the wrong way, yeah. didn't it? Yeah. I mean, if he did more Coke during that movie, and I'm talking to you, Joaquin, it might be better. So I, I recently heard something interesting is they were going to do a biopic of Thurgood Marshall, who was one of the justices of the Supreme Court, if I remember correctly, and I'm sorry if I'm wrong, I think he was, if not the first, one of the first African-American judges on the Supreme Court, which I think that would be pretty bomb. I would, yeah. to, I would watch that. That would be an interesting story. Yeah. And, and really, when you're watching a, bio, a biopic, that's what you want to see. You want to see yeah. an interesting Story, you're not going to watch, you know, Mon, Pa, Petal, Kettle go to town. That would be boring. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I did kind of like the Beverly Hillbillies, but all right. <laughs> you just yeah, like the cement that. pond. I mean, come on. Can uh, we put a little counter up at the bottom of the screen when we when we post this that has a Mon, Pa, Kettle counter? That would be cool. Only if you're willing to do the editing. <laughs> 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 Anyway, <laughs> so any you know, put it up like blind day, like and John says, "Mom, and Pa, Kettle" in three, two, one. No, I want to. I want to do it like uh, uh, South Park when they said the word "shit." Just say it as many times yeah, as I right, can. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. Um, any final parting comments? Um, uh, no. Yeah, I can't. I don't think anything. Wrap it up. Yeah. Uh, Damn the man, <laughs> save the empire. <laughs> well, as long as you kill the roofers. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, for Jonathan Charney, James Stevens, and Ryan Preston, thank you for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>